spherical mirrors. Spherical mirrors, basic concepts. A spherical mirror is defined as a polished reflecting surface which is a part of a hollow glass sphere silvered on one side. To learn more, click on the titles indicated on the screen. Depending upon the nature of the reflecting surface, the spherical mirror is classified as concave mirror and convex mirror. Concave means curving inwards. A concave mirror is one in which the reflecting surface is formed from the interior surface of a sphere. Convex means curving outwards. A convex mirror is one in which the reflecting surface is formed from the exterior surface of a sphere. Center of curvature is the center of the sphere of which the spherical mirror forms a part. The letter C is used to denote the center of curvature. Radius of curvature is the radius of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. The letter R is used to represent the radius of curvature. Aperture is the part of the spherical mirror available for reflection. Pole is the midpoint of the aperture of the spherical mirror. The letter P is used to denote the pole of a mirror. Principal axis is the straight line passing through the pole and the center of curvature of a spherical mirror. Secondary axis is any other radial line passing through the center of curvature other than the principal axis. The normal at any point on the surface of a spherical mirror is a straight line joining that point to the center of curvature of the mirror. Normal at any point on a spherical mirror is equal to the radius of the sphere of which the mirror is a part. The normal at point A on the mirror is the line AC obtained by joining A to the center of the curvature of the mirror. Principal focus The rays of light parallel to the principal axis of a concave mirror after reflection, pass through a point or converge at a point on the principal axis. This point is referred to as the principal focus or the focal point of the mirror. The letter F is used to denote the focus. The rays of light parallel to the principal axis of a convex mirror after reflection appear to diverge from a point on the principal axis. This point is referred to as the principal focus or the focal point of the mirror. Observe carefully the characteristics of the focus of a concave and a convex mirror. In a convex mirror, the focus lies behind the mirror. In a concave mirror, the focus is in front of the mirror. Concave mirror is also known as a converging mirror as the parallel rays of light after getting reflected converge at the focus. A convex mirror is known as a diverging mirror as the parallel rays of light after reflection appear to come from a point on the principal axis. That is the rays diverge after reflection. Focal length is the distance between the pole and the focus of the mirror. It is represented by the letter F in lower case.
New Cartesian Sign Convention for Spherical Mirrors It is important to understand the sign convention used for measuring distances in the ray diagram of spherical mirrors. Observe carefully the illustration shown here. The principal axis can be compared to a number line. The pole of the reflecting surface is assumed to be the origin. All distances are measured from the pole of the mirror. The incident rays are drawn from left to right. The principal axis is taken along the x-axis. Distances measured along the direction of the incident ray towards the right are positive and the distances measured against the direction of the incident ray towards the left are negative. Distances measured above and perpendicular to the principal axis are positive. Distances measured below and perpendicular to the principal axis are negative.